Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this video you will learn how to carry out one-way repeated measures ANOVA using RStudio. The video will include Description of the design Importing data file Computing one-way repeated measures ANOVA Examine a line graph Using post hoc comparison test a repeated measures design is one in which at least one of the factors consists of repeated measurements on the same subjects or experimental units under different condition or under different time points. It can viewed as an extension of the paired samples t-test which involve only two related measures. These measures unlike in regular ANOVA are correlated and not independent. Why should one use repeated measures ANOVA? The reasons are Individual differences or error term can be considerably reduced as a source of between group differences. The sample size is not divided between conditions or groups and thus inferential testing becomes more powerful. The design proves to be economical when sample members are difficult to recruit. We can consider the repeated measures ANOVA as a special case of two-way ANOVA. Where each cell represents a single measurement for one research subject or participant. The columns are the repeated measurements, and the rows are the individual participants or subjects. The simplest example of repeated measures design is a paired sample t-test, where each participant is assigned to two treatment levels. Or, we can say each participant is measured twice at two time intervals. If we observe subjects at more than two time points then we need to conduct a repeated measures ANOVA. It will decompose the variability into a random subject effect, a fixed treatment or time effect. Treating subject as random effect will facilitate to draw conclusion to the population from where these subjects were taken. Here is the data set which will be used in this analysis. First variable in data set represents the subjects or individuals. These individuals were given a dose of pain relieving drug. The tolerance was measured at four time intervals. Second variable represents time intervals in weeks. The third variable is the response or tolerance of each subject at each interval. Let's perform this analysis in R. Save the data file as CSV format. Use red.csv function to choose the data file. Head function will print the data up to 6 rows. Use structure function to see whether the variables are being read as factor, character, number, or integer. Here subject is being read as factor while time or group variable is being read as integer. First change the time variable to factor using factor function. To do this first use attach function to attach set of objects or data components. This will ease in evaluating the data by simply giving variable names. Use factor function to change time or group variable to factor. To perform repeated measures ANOVA in R, we identify subject as within subject variable and treat it as a random factor. To apply repeated measures ANOVA use AOV function where response variable is separated by time or group variable. The error function is used as the ratio between subject and time. This will split the error into subject error and interaction error. Use summary function to get the ANOVA information. Here you can see the difference between one-way ANOVA and one-way repeated measures ANOVA. The difference is in residuals. In one-way repeated measures ANOVA, the residual splits into subject and interaction residuals as compared to one-way ANOVA. This decomposition of error term considerably reduce the residual source of variance for the calculation of F value. Now examine a line graph with average response variable level plotted over time to see if the trend is a positive one. To plot the graph first get the means by using tapply function where you can use response and time variable arguments to calculate the means. Now use plot function to plot the graph. In type argument you can use one of the given possible types of plots. To give title to x axis use x lab argument. To give title to y axis use y lab argument. By plotting the line graph you can examine the trend if it is a positive one. For pairwise comparison first load stats package using require function. For pairwise comparison use pairwise.t.test function. For method argument you can use of these methods for pairwise comparisons. 
I shall use Bonferroni to explore difference between means. The results show that first and second week p-value and second and third week p-value appears to be non-significant. While rest of the comparisons are significant. I hope this video will help you to carry out one-way repeated measures ANOVA using RStudio. Please comment below if you have any questions.